Hello, this is John Choi. I want to welcome you to this video, and I want to thank you for taking the time uh, to be a part of our School Attendance Matters program. I had that mindset of like, I didn't care, kids don't care, teachers don't care, so why should I care? So, just didn't go to class. I didn't have transportation. Yeah, that was my problem, I couldn't come. And also, my baby gets so sick. I had problems getting to school on time. And I had a kid, so, you know, it's kind of hard. Because I got to feed him, dress him, you know what I mean, stay with him overnight. We had a, another life um, after my mom uh, was murdered, so we um, kind of went buck wild a little bit, me and my brothers. I got three older brothers, so that affected me a lot, um, just being in front of people and not wanting to cry. So I had a lot of issues with that, which made it hard for me to go to school. I think that all kids at times are going to feel disconnected to school. I had those thoughts and feelings. If you're a young person and you're not feeling that connected to school, you're saying, what is this all going to lead to, right? I can understand that. Uh, but the truth is, and this is the hard truth, uh, without that high school diploma, it's going to be very difficult to get a job. It's going to be very difficult to support yourself. One of the most important things that we can do as adults is to remove barriers to success. School Attendance Matters is a partnership with you, your child, and your school, people in this office, our county social workers, and community organizations. And I know that working together and pulling together, we can do great things. A good reason why a program like this is here is because instead of just taking those kids and saying, hey, you missed six days, you know, we're sending you to court. You have us who come in and kind of see what we can do and figure out to see actually why these kids are missing. He would just like ask me, so I have this paper, blah, 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 that shows you weren't in class. And I was just like, ah. So I couldn't, you know, lie to him because it's literally right there on paper. So he was just kind of like a person like to be on me about it. He kind of like motivated me to like want to go to class. I'm actually the connection between home, school, and community. I work with our students as well as their families. And also too, as a social worker, we give resources, resources that can connect family and their kids to the community resources they need. Before last year, I used to was absent a lot because I didn't have transportation. This year, I have an absent damage. And when I come to school, I work so hard to get my homework done. Most kids don't just come in and say, I'm not going to school, just not to go to school school. So really try to pinpoint what it is that maybe is getting in the way. You know, is the school a good fit? Are there mental health issues? I didn't think anything was going to happen. I just stopped going to school. The next thing you know, a lady came up to talk to me, um, and it was a Ramsey County juvenile truancy worker. She rolled my heels to make sure that I was, you know, going to school every day. And she would tell me the um, outcome. She said, do you want to be working at Burger King for the rest of your life? Now I'm here at 21, still trying to get my diploma because I realize that it's very, very important for my life. My name is Leah Tapu. I work for the Ramsey County Attorney's Office and have been involved with the School Attendance Matters program, which is designed to keep students in school every day, every hour on time. If a student is missing school and if they miss five or more days unexcused, the school reports that to the SAM program, the School Attendance Matters program. It's a collaborative effort where we get a, a large group of people, uh, really any agency or community agency, government agency that needs to come in and provide whatever services might be useful uh, in supporting a family and getting a student to school. The importance of education is, well, first off, and, and you know, on the most basic level, it's the law, what all students are required to do in the state of Minnesota. But far more important than that, it is the way of opening up opportunities. If you have an education, you have choices that you can make with your life. Education is vital to your success. I um, received a GED at 39, and now I'm starting to do things later in life and I wish I had the chance to do it earlier. School is obviously important, but uh, getting to school in life can also be difficult and complicated sometimes. Of course, there are legal reasons why a student can miss school. So when talking about uh, being sick or ill, what really constitutes a legal excuse for missing school is if a student has the flu or strep throat or a fever of over 100 degrees or serious illness like that. If a student has a, a doctor or a dental appointment or really any appointment with a medical professional, if possible, you should try to schedule that at some time outside of school hours. 
So religious holidays are another legal excuse. The important part of that is communicating that with the school in advance. A family emergency is another reason that a student could miss school and be excused. If there's a death in the family, if there's a funeral, if someone in the family becomes suddenly or seriously ill, or if there's some sort of issue with housing. Regardless of what the reason is that the student is missing school, the only way that it's going to be excused is if the parent contacts and communicates it to the school. Parent communication is, is almost the most important factor for child success at school. If the child has a, a champion at school, if a child has a champion at home and you partner together, the likelihood of them being successful overall is a lot higher. Minnesota attendance law uh, differentiates students based on their age. If a student is 11 years old or younger, the law really focuses more its attention on the parent, could consider it to be an educational neglect problem. 12 years old and older, responsibility is put more on the student to get to school every day. Regardless of the student's age, a parent's support and a parent's involvement is going to be crucial. Don't deal with truancy alone because there's a lot of support in the school willing to work with students, willing to work with the caregivers. I obtain my education later in life. I don't want that for my sons, so I wanted to um, do better. I help them with their homework. I'm an advocate for them. Any challenges they face, I'm there for them. The goal of the School Attendance Matters program is to get students to improve their attendance. The way that we do that is we have a three-step process. So step one of the process is an uh, informational meeting, and this video is that step. The idea is to reach out, early intervention, get students back to school. Step two is the School Attendance Review Team meeting. That is the meeting where we focus individually on the student, individually on their attendance record, uh, bring everyone to the table. For students 11 and younger, the parent, a school representative, a SAM lawyer, and a child protection worker from Ramsey County. If a student is 12 years or older, the student will also be present at the meeting. It can be kind of intimidating and, you know, I'm there to be a support and to advocate. From there, I'll decide to open a short-term case. I'll start meeting with the kids at school, talk to parents, hopefully get them on track so they don't have to go on to court. So the last step is really a, a legal proceeding. The worst case scenario, if a student uh, has continued to miss school after the first two steps, if they're 12 years old or older, they would be petitioned to court. If they're 11 years or younger, then the parent would be petitioned to court. Generally, what's gonna come out of that is going to be a court-ordered case plan that the family, the student, is gonna be expected to comply with. When you know you're messing up and you know that there are going to eventually be consequences if you continue. You have a chance to avoid those consequences by taking care of business. Taking care of business is doing what you know is going to show the judge or the prosecutor or the teacher or your parents or the community that you recognize the things you've been doing have not been the things you ought to be doing. And so before it gets to the point where you have to come to court, even if you've been screwing up, you can make that change. You gotta demonstrate it, and you gotta demonstrate that you're serious about it, that you're not just trying to game us. You know, I've been doing this 18 years as a judge, but I was a prosecutor and a defense attorney for 17 years before that. So you're not gonna put one over on somebody who's been doing this for 35 years. Best case scenario is after this video, uh, a student starts attending school and we don't even go down that road. Once a family's petitioned to a court or to the judge, that power, that control over how this ends up is passed over to this court authority. Truancy can be a problem, but if it is, it's a fixable problem. We can fix it by starting over. We can fix it by connecting with the school, connecting with the social workers, the counselors, the teachers. It's a collection of everybody involved with that student. It's not just the parents on an island. It's how do we partner together. It takes a village to raise a kid. Uh, so we're just that extra person that's coming in from the outside and saying, hey, can we be part of your village? Help this kid, you know, succeed the best that they can. There was a lot probably that happened or occurred for the kid or family to get to this point. So it's going to take some time to, you know, hopefully get to a different point. So just give time, be invested. And if we don't impress upon young people our expectations for them, they're going to live down to our expectations. 
All you have to do is ask for help if you need help and you can get help. There's always avenues, resources around you. I had the support of the school, I had the support of the county, and I also had the support of my family. So I'm doing this for my baby. I want him to have a better future and I want to be a model for him so he can keep studying and be what he want to be. If you just gonna sit at home, just do nothing, just come to school, learn something, you know, dummies don't go nowhere. Don't ditch class because it's really not worth it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your parents' time. It's not worth anybody's time. Stay in school because if you don't stay in school, you're not going to learn anything. And you're just going to be either living on the streets or getting a dead-end job that you're going to be in working for, for at least 12 hours a day. When you don't want to be doing that, you want to either have your own business or work the hours you want to work. The same thing is that you have to follow and do for school, you have to do at a job. So when you have to listen to your teacher, when you have to do assignments by a certain time and make sure they're turned in, you think your job is going to be like, oh, well, you, you missed six days of turning in your time card. Um, it's okay, though. It's okay. I'm still going to... No. It's not, you know, it's not like that. So school is, school is setting you up for the future. So I hope that this has been helpful and been informational and that students and families kind of get a better idea of what not only the law requires but uh, also why it is important for them to get to school. Communication is going to be key here with the school uh, and their student, their child, uh, to improve this problem. If there is that communication, that line of communication to identify what the problem is and, and the solution, uh, I think that for many people that this will be the last uh, involvement that they have with the SAM program.